the National Coronavirus Command Council has decided to enforce a nationwide lockdown for 21 days with effect from midnight on Thursday the 26th of March. This is a decisive measure to save lives of South Africans from infection and save the lives of hundreds of thousands of our people. While this measure will have a considerable impact on people's livelihoods, Um, unemployment is already very high in our country, it's almost at 30%. I can just imagine what that um, unemployment rate would look like post-COVID-19. And so the inequalities of the poor and the vulnerable and the inequalities within our society becomes more exposed every day um, as we navigate our way through this crisis that we're experiencing globally right now. At Community Chest we've been involved with the Food Relief Project. Um, two weeks into the project we've been able to pack and um, share 3,000 food parcels across the Western Cape. Um, that 3,000 translate into 15,000 individuals and 100 communities across uh, the Western Cape. Fellow South Africans, this evening I stand before you to ask you to endure even longer. I have to ask you to make even greater sacrifices so that our country may survive this crisis and so that tens of thousands of lives may be saved. Uh, I'm so excited to partner with Community Chest in this time of uh, a crisis, a worldwide crisis and knowing that there is hunger, there's frustration, there's confusion, but I thank God for this opportunity where we can really hear that cry in the community and also in our city and to meet that need. Uh, so once more with businesses, with uh, government, with churches and NGOs, we can make a difference. This is really a time where we practice Ubuntu or love your neighbor concept and I do believe these efforts does play a major role of somehow uh, relieve some of the pain and hunger. Um, within these food parcels we are adding 25 items to ensure that it can sustain a family for two weeks or at least supplement a family for a month. These items are nutritionally um, diverse and we aim to include as many products as possible with more sponsors coming on board we have diversified them hi i'm shirley ems i live in the rondebosch community the other day just chatting to my local petrol attendant and sharing um, all the struggles of COVID, he said that he was getting only to work every 20 days i recognize that we can't presume that people just because they have jobs don't necessarily have less and so I knew that Community Chase were doing food boxes, so I decided to apply. Um, and today I got a call to say your boxes are ready. And so I'm here to collect 25 boxes for the petrol attendants outside my house. We work with ECD centres in the Lavender Hill area, early childhood development centres. And at the moment all our centres are shut down. Um, we were very fortunate to be able to support the 115 teachers that are currently unemployed as a result of that or not earning an income because parents can't afford to pay school fees. Um, they were beneficiaries of these awesome food parcels last week. And so as our way of paying it forward, we've had a group of 10 ECD um, teachers being able to participate this week packing food parcels to go out to other areas. And we're feeding since lockdown. We have been feeding every day our people in the Hanover Park area. Uh, initially, it started off with about say, 250 meals per day. Currently, we are reaching way over 1,000 1, per day. And um, the need is quite huge due to the Hanover Park area, especially uh, gang related. We have the elderly, which basically have to look after the grandchildren, etc. So the need is quite huge. and. Uh, we actually currently now appealing to the communities out there to assist us with the feeding schemes that we are running. This project is not going to end. We live in a food stressed country, in a 
uh, families that are that are living with food crisis all the time and so providing food these boxes to families help sustain them for at least 14 days that they would have cooked meals warm foods in their homes as part of this national food relief program community chest has been at the forefront of ensuring that vulnerable communities and people all over the Western Cape have access to food. Uh, food security or food relief at this stage is critical. Um, yeah, the situation out there is really getting quite um, hairy and the emotions are riding high um, and it's very, very important for us to be able to deliver food in a, um, in a responsible manner that helps us to avoid the spread of the virus which is is one of the things that is very challenging working with feeding schemes. So these food passes have really been a great relief and a great support to the community um, and yeah, we're just very, very appreciative of the, the support from Community Chest and the team that have been working so hard to, to make this possible. Thank you. Hi, my name is Juba Mohammed and I'm a provincial director of the community camp. I'm here to support Community Chest. Here they are helping our deaf community Four out of food bottles to help our deaf people. Wow. So, deaf, uh, we appreciate their support. So, thank you so much to the community, Church. Thank you. We are deliberate and intentional about our uh, mission to feed South Africans. The Western Cape has over uh, 37,000 vulnerable and indigent households. I want to make sure that we get to every single one of them. It's the power of this message that I want you to connect with as you listen to my voice. We need your support to help pay for these boxes that we can ship out to people. The message that I'd like to leave with each one of you is that food security is a real issue. It's not something that, that government alone can solve. Each one of us needs to take responsibility, whether we find ourselves in academia, government, big business or within civil society. We really need to look at the entire value chain um, around food security. And we need to look at how we as people in South Africa can own that value chain. We need to look at how we empower informal farmers, small businesses, the informal economy, and how we can strengthen our strategy in terms of ensuring that as a country, we can start to readdress the inequalities that have become so harsh um, pertaining to food security. The importance of making sure that no South African goes to bed hungry. No child sleeps with an empty tummy dreaming of a hot plate of food. Everyone knows the job's done. We need less talking about food, we need a lot more action. And for all of us, this is such a joy to do this. And we invite you as South Africans to join us to tell this story, this great story of food that is being supplied to families everywhere. And you can do that with us. Every single box here that you see costs just 400 Rand to feed a family for two weeks. And I'm asking you to join us. Would you make that donation to us? Would you help us to ensure that our children know that they can trust us as adults with their food, with their security, but most of all, with their futures. And it's going to be very moeilijk with the kinders and it's going to be very moeilijk with the, with the gemeenschap. Because we have a lot of cost packages uitgedeeld and then also as we pay for the 12, the 16 schools that we had in the dorp, every principal was was to be able to get the kinders of the food to see, ongeacht what the regulation has said, all was ready to live on the field to play for the will of our kinders. We have trust that we uh, will thank you say, for the community chest. And it's all because of this dynamic partnership we have with our donors. It's the power of change that resides within these hands of ours. We make the difference. Together we make that difference. As a country we make that difference. As partners across every race, nationality, creed, culture, we stand together to make that difference. The difference is to look at every South African as a partner in the process of care. As individuals committed to the transformation of our beautiful country, one food box at a time. Everybody needs food. Everybody needs help. And all of us together can make that significant difference. 10,000 food boxes, 50,000 people, 20 municipalities, and thousands of lives saved because of your generosity as our donor partners. Thank you for believing in us and in the people of this country.